And thank you for joining this edition of Ford Fix. My name is Eric Gates. I'm a customer solutions architect here at Ford Networks. And today we're going to be looking at compliance audits with a digital twin. Now you can see on my right hand side, I have a small test network here. And we're going to be using this to show a specific compliance check where we're going to audit all devices and find any that may not meet that specification. Uh, specifically, that'll be SSH version two. We will then take this a step further. We will act on that check. We will set it as a continuous verification check anytime we take a snapshot so we can ensure all devices within our network continue to stay compliant. If anything is determined non-compliant per that specific verification check, we will then create a service now ticket dynamically so the proper people can be notified and act on this issue. Let's get started. Let's go down to our NQE library. And you can see here in the Ford library, we have a lot of CAN checks here. We have MTU consistency, loop speed consistency, IP address uniqueness, and it goes on and on and on. And we grow this library uh, with each new release of Ford. Now specifically, the one we're gonna be doing, as I referred to earlier, is SSH version two. And this is gonna be using a pattern within the config block of any iOS device, ASA, or XR device. And you can see over here in our data model, we can do any type of check across many different platforms and ensure that whatever type protocol, interface, you name it, remains compliant. Okay, let's run this check. We'll execute it here against this network, which I just showed you in the latest snapshot. You see here immediately that looks like most devices are passing, but this top one here is not. And you, on large networks, you can even filter and say, okay, I want to see what violations are true. What, what, are, what is impacted? Okay, app firewall one. Let's take a closer look. It immediately takes us to that device within our network. We can jump into the configuration. I can do a central search here at the top for SSH. Let's drill down the configuration and right here, I don't really see anything that says SSH version two. Let's take this a step further. I have the actual device already up here. Let's do show SSH. And again, yeah, we can see versions one and two are currently allowed. Okay. So what can we do about that? Well, we can go back here. We can say, let's add this as a verification check. So we're going to go ahead and add this NQE check we created. And now when I go into verify NQE, I can go down in here in my compliance checks and I can see that this is now published. Let's make it active. This is now active. We can see that it's failed. Now I can even manually add, since this is the first one, Instead of having it dynamically created, I can go ahead and add a service now ticket to this. Here's instant number. Go here. Get all the specifications. This is just the default settings I set. Go here. And this will take us over to the service now ticket itself. And we can see there's the instant number that aligns what we said. And then whoever sees this, they can immediately go to this web link right here, which will take them back to our check here and we can just take a look at that <clears throat> and there it is it shows the results of this guy failing okay we'll go back to this instance here now that i have this published let's go ahead and fix this issue and see if it continues to fail so we'll go back to my device here Let's go into configuration mode and we'll do SSH version two. Let's write in that. That's done. Looking good. Let's take another snapshot and see what happens. Take a full snapshot. You see here we're collecting snapshot data. All connectivity tests have completed successfully already. So now we are going to 
start collecting on the 23 devices we have in this lab network. All right, everyone, we've uh, jumped ahead. The snapshot is completed. Let's go ahead and view the snapshot. All right, we'll go back to verify in QE. And we'll go down to the compliance checks. And we can see now that the SSH version 2 verification check that we were just set up is now passing as expected. So that means that all devices are compliant as expected. So things are happy. This is what we're looking for. And this just shows you the power of NQE ver integrated with verification checks. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us for this forward fix, and I look forward to you joining our next one. Thank you.